Do you have lots of helpful hints for your friend's ailments and diseases and complaints? Perhaps keep them to yourself. Hey, this is Deborah, also known as Damage42, with my take on some of those helpful medical things that the people always seem to love. This, we'll show and tell today, is my container of medicines. Oh yes, the pharmaceutical companies basically keep me alive. This also you can't see in here, my insulin. I take one supplement, which is vitamin B6, at the recommendation of my doctor. And I take an allergy medicine because, well, I'd rather not sneeze every day, all day, my entire life. Now, doesn't somebody think that I would pay attention to my doctor or someone who has gone to school for umpteen years and residency and all of that, plus all the experience? I go to specialists for my health problems. You know what? There is not some juice out there that's going to cure my diabetes. Um, there's not some magic potion that is going to get rid of any arthritic problems that I have. There's not some sleight of hand, um, oh, look what I found from Bolivia or wherever, that's going to make me magically thin. Just stop it. Now, if it's somebody that you've known for a long time and you realize they're not taking their medication as they should be and stuff like that, be a concerned, caring friend and perhaps see that, make sure that they're seeing their doctor. But trust me, unless you are a medical doctor yourself, you don't know how to treat my diabetes. I have had people being very helpful and I haven't usually snapped at them or anything. What worried about, oh, you can't eat that or Wait, when do you take your insulin? You know, that's between me and my doctor. And my doctor is happy with the way my diabetes treatment is going. And so am I. My numbers are fabulous. So don't you worry about it. But this happens a lot. A lot of times people are have disabilities that you think that with just the right attitude, you can make it all better. Just the right attitude does help. As someone who battles with depression, yes. Chronic depression that requires medication, yes. I take a pill to help with my depression. Um, it's because of a chemical imbalance. That's what causes most people's depressions. So all the people out there that are going, just keep your chin up. Just fake it till you make it. Now, both of those things do have, are, are helpful, but not in and of themselves. Don't ever tell somebody, oh, you can get off that medicine if you would just change your attitude. You know what I say to that? Fuck you. Okay. Also, fuck you from this side. Both sides get a fuck you today. Because I have tried not taking medicine. You know what happened? I became very suicidal and that's not a good thing. I actually kind of want to stick around, you know, which is why I'm trying to take care of my health, both mental and physical. So if your magical juice cure or your supplement combination of doom or whatever is going to get rid of all of my ailments, try it on somebody else first. Me, I'm sticking with my doctors and with my own research and just realizing what my body and my mind like to do or don't like to do and trying to work it out from there. I know you mean well most of the time, but just because you mean well doesn't mean you know what the fuck you're talking about. Up here you'll find some more videos on my take. Some of them are about driving, which is lots of fun. Down here, how about clicking that subscribe button? You never know what I'm going to say. Also like before you leave and I'd love to have a comment or two or 12, you know. See ya.